Hello designers, this is John with yet another video and today I'll be showing you how to design this beautiful logo. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So guys, we are going to use this shield to design our beautiful logo here. And uh, just to get started, um, just I have already pre-created this uh, sh uh, shield sign. So maybe you can get it somewhere on the internet or you can try to draw yours just to help us save time. I had already uh, pre-designed it here. So um, we're just going to get started from this point. So um, I'm just going to give it some color. Yeah. So I would like to give it some gradient color that maybe will uh, work uh, in a simple way. So just uh, click the gradient tool or pick the gradient tool, and um, I'm going to pick my first color here. So this will be my first color. And I will also go with uh, this one, and then um, I can just change a little bit here. Yeah, so if you want it to be to look more appealing, so you can just try to work it out until it looks the way you want. But for me, we just have it like that, and. Um, just going to copy that and uh, paste it in front and then now uh, what i'll do is that the one that i have pasted i'll resize it so that's a little bit smaller than the one that we had so just resize it and then now uh, what i'll do is that i'll again change uh, the slider um, so the, the colors that is so I'll just make it look like that so you can try to play aloud with the gradient until you get the, the, the colors that you want until you get the colors that you want so for now we can just have that as it is uh, so now I want to do the green um, or the, the, the dark uh, blue. Let me start with the dark blue. So I'll again copy this and uh, paste it uh, in front. And now what I'll do is that I'll change the color. And then next uh, is that um, I will resize it just a little bit. Like that. Let me just zoom it uh, a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm doing uh, here. Yes, so uh, we have that. So now what I'll do next is now I'll do the green, uh, the green shape. So just as usual, I'll just copy these and uh, paste it in front. And uh, what I'll now just do is change the color. And um, I'll again resize it just a little bit. You can resize it and give it whichever uh, size you want it to have. Just have it like that. And uh, before I continue, I would also like to have um, another light blue uh, along this shape. Uh, through here so what I'll just do is that I'll come and copy this copy that um, let me just hide this for a while just uh, hide it for a while so um, you can hide every shape under uh, the layers under the layers uh, uh, section there so um, after hiding it now I can uh, uh, paste this in front 
and I just want to have uh, a light blue color whichever you can pick whichever color you want so like that and then I'll switch I'll swap this uh, fill to stroke and I'll resize it a bit it's not too much color bear Mm. Just something like that. Um, don't like the color. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. Let me uh, show the color. Just click on that to have the color back. So let me just uh, hide this a little bit so that we can have some more space. Yeah. Let me just uh, try to be a bit more organized uh, here. All right. So um, the next thing is I'll also have this uh, shade of green that will make it look 3D a bit. So um, there are many ways that you can go about that. But for me, I'll just copy this and uh, I'll paste it in front. And then I'll change uh, the color to this and I'll reduce the percentage uh, up here to 50% after which now I will uh, come and make it halfway so I'm just deleting these points like that after which now I'll come and pick the pen tool um, and then I will uh, join it there like that so uh, we're almost halfway uh, done with our logo so we are now left with this um, stuff that we can put inside here and just to help us save time I'm just going to pick some uh, like this one just come and uh, copy it uh, somewhere there uh, like that I can also zoom it a bit because I would want it to be somewhere there yeah, so you can place it in there so this is just my creativity here um, and then uh, the next thing that I'll also copy these stars so um, I'll be leaving these uh, resources in the description below so that you can also use them yeah without in the world so um, good to go I can make sure that uh, these two are well aligned like that now the next thing, thing that I'll do, the next thing that I'll do is uh, I'll have this, and this is very simple. It will not take us a lot of time. So I will come and uh, hold Shift and Alt uh, to draw a very perfect circle there. Uh, just make sure that it is well aligned at the center uh, good and then um, I'll change the color I would like it to be that color I'll swap this and I will also increase that a little bit um, the width or the stroke width rather um, so ensure that uh, this is well aligned I mean I'll maybe well positioned um, and now what I'll do is that I'll just delete some points like that point down there and uh, I would also like it to be a bit smaller, it's quite big, alright, 
um, so somewhere just move it up a little bit yeah somewhere there and then again now I'll do the squares I've not used any dimensions for now but if you are designing a professional thing make sure that you also try to use proper dimensions so for now I'm just sharing an idea that you can use to design a perfect uh, perfect looking logo so Yes, and now I'll just duplicate this over there, duplicate it as well. Of it there. So this one uh, should also have this shade of color. I prefer that. I would also like it to be. Um, somewhere down there um, I can also scale it up a little bit and uh, yeah, perfect yes so that looks good um, now I'm just left with another text so for the text I'll start with this so just pick the type tool just pick the type tool and just type um, the word since but for that I can come and pick my uh, favorite uh, font style here so just pick it you can use any font style so this is um, available in Adobe Illustrator so you don't have to download it so I'll just come and type that and I'll come and make it also I'll change the style a little bit here just make it uh, white so you can use any font style for that matter so I'll also change its color uh, let me just use this one and uh, what I'll do is that I'll also expand I'll also have it expanded Excellent. So that's a, sort of an object, and then now uh, I will resize it so that it perfectly fits between my stars here. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, now what I'll do is, um, let me just type it somewhere here. Twenty fifteen. Just to ensure that it has uh, the font style that I want. Yes. And what I'll do is that um, I'll have to expand the appearance uh, like so, and then I'll change the color to white and have it in a perfect manner. Um, so, what I want to do is to move it uh, up a little bit, yes, and maybe offset a little bit uh, somewhere there um, yeah, 
think that looks fine. You can also reduce this maybe to around nine. Or maybe around five. Okay, let's see how that works for us. Um That, that I think it's perfect. That is perfect. So we can come and have it uh, somewhere there. So now what we are left with is uh, the name itself name so you can type in and we can put in a name so what I'll do is that I'll pick the pen tool and I'll just draw a curved a line here just draw a curved line there like that just change that the color doesn't matter for now um, you just need to have our text curved like that so I'll just come and pick uh, the type on a path tool and I'll come and type here uh, like that and now what I can do is that I can scale it up a little bit I can increase the size um, so let me see Right, yeah, something like that, and I will also like to change um, the font style to a little bit bold, a bit bold, like so, and reduce this bit. Okay. I think it looks a bit more similar now. Um, like so, so that is perfect. Now, what I'll do is um, I'll change the color, just give it this color up here. And uh, I can come and export the appearance. And uh, now I'll just uh, duplicate it. Just duplicate. So I just come and copy it and uh, paste it. I would rather uh, have it pasted in front. And now what I'll do is that I'll just change the color of the first one, the one that is in front, to this gradient color, uh, which is uh, what we have here. I'll also want to have it as a radio gradient type, rather than, uh, rather than a linear. So, um, when it is like that now I can now come and hide it because I want to select the one that is behind it just select it and now what I want to do is to um, apply the offset setting so I'll just go to object path and then offset path here I'll make sure that it is loud and I'll also preview what I'm doing 
and I will reduce these to something small like maybe two yeah. so you can apply any offset value here depending on how you want it to look like so now I can just come and say okay to apply that and does it Now maybe what I can do is that I can select everything uh, and then I can see if I can expand the appearance. Yes, and that looks perfect. So now I can come and uh, group it. Let me see group. Good. So now you can resize it uh, however you want. And that is the logo that you are designing today. Hope you like it. Try it yourself. Try to be more creative. See you next time. Thank you.